Ailey and I want to say thanks so much to our patrons. We really appreciate your support in helping make Elder Dragon hijinks a thing that will continue for as long as we can play Casual Ridiculous Commander. Thanks again, patrons. Elder Dragon hijinks is proudly sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc. Check them out and use code ALIASV to get 5% off your order. For our Canadian viewers, check out face-to-face -face games for your singles and sealed product and be sure to use code ALIASV at checkout for 5% off. We're also sponsored by our friends at Moxfield.com, the best deck building site on the internet for your Magic the Gathering collection. The show is also made possible by EDH Rec and their sister site, Commander's Herald. EDH Rec is one of the best resources you can have as a Commander player. Commander's Herald is their article-focused site for Commander where you can find more content, more insight, and some fun articles along the way. Another awesome sponsor is UltraPro. For all your accessory needs, visit ultrapro.com forward slash alias V. Don't forget code alias V at checkout for 5% off. Last but not least, thanks to our sponsor, Alter Sleeves. You can find them at altersleeves.com. Get amazing art upgrades for your cards and for your decks to personalize them as you like. Hey everybody, hello and welcome to your weekly dose of hijinks here on Elder Dragon Hijinks. I'm Ailey. I'm Olivia. It is so nice to be back in a room that's not a hotel room, if only for a moment. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I got hold of Olivia today because she's like, yeah, I'm going this place tomorrow and then that place the next day. And I'm just like, girl, you got far too much energy slash I willpower. I say yes to a lot of things. It's not about energy. It's being unable to read my calendar and be like, yeah, sure, I'm free that weekend. And then realizing I said I'm free every weekend. <laughs> okay. Note to self, get in Olivia's diary before she ghosts me. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I might ghost daily, I'd never ghost our next two guests. We've got Shiva and Bot from Casual Magic and the Commander Advisory Group and our good friend, the... Bearer of Scarves, Joey from EDH Rec. Mr. Dad Jokes himself, so let's go check out what the players are bringing to the table today. Hi, I'm Joey from EDH Rec and the EDH Rec cast, and I am here playing my new absolute favorite deck, Baba Lasaga, or as I like to call her, my baby lasagna. I'm going to eat a whole bunch of stuff and make my opponents pay for it. I'm just going to draw a lot of cards, make them lose a lot of life, and it will be a very aristocratic great time. Hi, my name is Shivan Putt, and I'm a member of the Commander Advisory Group and the host of the Casual Magic Podcast. Today, I'm going to be doing something I've never done before. I'm playing a blue-red Spellslinger deck led by Nira. My hope is that I'll be able to play a bunch of instants and get crazy things to come off my deck, and I'm really excited. I have no idea how to actually play on other people's turns. I don't know what it's like to not play with creatures. This is going to be super new and super different for me, and I plan to miss a whole billion triggers on the way. Today, I am playing my beloved Glunch, the bestower of good things. Just going to try to be friendly and give everybody nice hugs and let them draw cards and play lands and, you know, generally be pleasant until I am not. That's the plan. I'm going to be playing Tuvasa the Sunlit. This is an Enchantress deck, so something I'm not used to in all my aggro decks is drawing cards, which this deck does very well. So I'll draw a bunch of stuff and hopefully deal with a bunch of permanents on my opponent's side of the battlefield, and then win with a massive Voltron-esque creature. Yes. I've never played I'm a excited. blue red deck. This is going to be so weird. Oh. I'm excited. Oh, this is a lovely hand. Hell yeah. Good job, Tuvasa. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Planes, Skull Warden, pass. Oh. When you said let's go, I didn't realize it meant that. It's so I can stay in the game and keep bestowing. Draw my card. I will play an island. Ooh, yeah. I've never played blue, so I forget what's a sorcery or not sorcery. I'm going to ponder. <laughs> Go ahead. Fun fact, sorcery. Huh. Yeah, I thought it was an instant. <laughs> I'll draw. Does everyone want forests? Because you have them. I'll play Yavimaya, and yeah. I'll pass after that. I always wanted forests. Oh, would you look at that? I have many. I'll draw. <laughs> I'll play this here, Thriving Heath. Uh, I'll choose another color other than white. Let's pick blue. So, Azorius Land, that's my go. Oh, yeah, that was tap. Now it's on tap. I will play a Branch Loft Pathway. Pass. Untap. 
and draw my card off the top. I am going to play a Soldevi Excavations, which when it comes to the play, I sacrifice an untapped island or bury it, and I can tap it to add one end of blue to my mana pool, and uh, one and tap to look at the top card of my library. So basically, it lets me pay one and tap to scry, which uh, in Nero is pretty sweet. So I'm going to tap it for two and play Scroll Rack. Go ahead. Nice. Very good setup. You go. That's rad. Um, Mind you, my I'll... commander still costs six, so... <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I will play a Vault of Whispers artifact and land, and I think the thing I'll want to play next. Tap two for an Icker Wellspring. When it enters or gets put into the graveyard from the battlefield, I'll draw a card. And that's a good card. I will pass the turn. Shell on tippity tap. Draw... What do you think of those thriving lands in the three color deck? I, I don't mind the don't thrivers. Mind they're just they're as cool. good as any other enters tapped that you can pick yeah. a color, but you get to pick the color, which is mm. nice. I'm iffy on them personally, but. Reading pool tapped. Say go. Yeah, I just worry about the memory issues. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just put a sticker on it, shave them. <laughs> oh, we can oh, do no. that now. We can. No, don't. No. Mm. How come they didn't have <laughs> stickers with the five colors of magic on it? Like you would think putting magic symbols. I can't. I'm gonna cut on a three. I'll pass. Nice. Untap. Draw a card. A forest and a forest. Well, luckily for you, everything is a forest since we got Yav in play. Oh uh, yeah, I'll get a forest and a plane. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I'm going to play a shiny mountain. One, two, three, mana. What can I do with this? You can live your best life, I'm sure. I could. I could also live my worst life and pass. Okay. I'm not sure that I trust that, Shivam. You're you're playing a deck full of instants now. Uh, I don't know how uh, this happened. <laughs> 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 I've never played a deck where I have to wait till your turn to play things. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go ahead and play a Mishra's Factory, which is actually my favorite card in this deck. Ever. I'll pay three and we'll run her out. I'll play Baba Lasaga, or as I like to call her, my baby Lasaga. Uh, and I will pass the turn. What does she do? What does she do? Oh, oh, nothing. That's not a huge deal. Uh, you know, just can tap her to sacrifice up to three permanents. And if there were three more card types among the sacrifice permanents, each opponent loses three life. I gain three life and I draw three cards. It's not, it's not a big deal. It's not like Misha's I factory. Am turns really into an artifact to see how that works. Land. Oh yeah, my God. Wait. I love it so much. I just want to eat all my stuff. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Oh, three or more card types among the permanents? So that means when you turn on the fact... That's stupid. Factory feeds it solo, I'm, yeah. I am immediately calling stupid on that one. It, it is my, it's my favorite. It's so much fun. Like, that's hacks right there. That is that is wall hacking. That is spawn camping. That's cheating. <laughs> no, it's so great. You'll, you're going to love it, I promise. <laughs> I'm all done. Cool. On tap. Draw. We'll play this year, go rest. And we will run out the Lady of the Hour to Vasa the Sunlit. She is wonderful. Uh, she gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment I control. And whenever I cast my first enchantment each turn, she draws a card. So she's not as strong as some of the other enchantresses, but hey, we like her. What do you mean she's not as strong? She's the, she is the best enchantress commander. She she's be my easy. favorite enchantress she's commander. She's the best I will commander, not, uh, yes. No, excuse she you, Atraxa the colors. is? <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, what was it? Atraxa said Atraxa is the best is. enchantress commander. <laughs> Atraxa is just like that that's Atraxa can be the best anything commander. Can we just yeah, put it like thank you. Yeah, no, you don't yeah. you just need her for the colors. I'm not saying <laughs> No, Tuvasa is one of my favorite cards in, in it's definitely one of my favorite decks. I think I actually built this deck because you liked it so much, even so it's like <laughs> you know what? He likes it. It has to be good, right? It's so much fun. I mean mine is aura based <laughs> because I like auras, but I actually in fact just got this uh handy dandy duplomancy for that deck, so I'm looking forward to putting that one in. Oh nice. Nice. Uh me? Yes. Glunch is such a good name too. It's Glunch and time. Is, right? Yeah. So satisfying to say. Not just because it rhymes with lunch. No, it's just, it's got a good set of syllables and it's like, yeah, clunch. Yeah. Do I want to be nice to everybody? Isn't that the point of the deck? It is kind of the point. <laughs> oh, uh, you gain a life off of Soul Sister, friend. I've oh, also right. entered. Oh, uh, and my Babala Saga as well. Oh yeah, she's any creature. God, there's so many. Hmm. All right, um, I'll play a planes. I swear to God, if you guys are mean to me, 
I'm gonna make you upset. I'll be personally upset. So I'm gonna kick things off with rights of flourishing. Huh? Oh. Rights of flourishing at the beginning of each player's draw step, they draw an additional card. Each player may play an additional land on each of their turns. Oh, yay. Oh, yeah. I like you, Glunch. This is why you're supposed to be nice to me. So when you start attacking me sideways, <laughs> clown, I'm a, I will I'm not but give you things. A humble I don't enchantment care. order <laughs> to use one of your favorite things. I'm not, I do not attack until do I not can lie. You. You're very bad at fitting. During your turn, I can tell you? now. Been a year. <laughs> I read you. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to take a moment to do a blue thing. I'm going to tap my excavations for one and a blue, and I'm going to opt to scry one and uh, draw a card. And then I'm going to use the extra one to um, scroll rack and put a couple of things back. Nice. So swap two for two. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm going to pay two more for a tenuous truce with Joey. Ooh, At the beginning of help. Enchanted Opponent's end step, we each draw a card. If one of us attacks the other, no card draw. And it goes away. Okay. That's kind of like wedding ring. But no, okay. this is the this is the non-disclosure agreement after the divorce, right? Hundred <laughs> percent. It's not non-disclosure, non-disparagement agreement. That's the one, sorry. Mm. It's also an NDA, whatever. You can't talk yeah. crap about your partner. There you go. Sweet. I will untap. Wow, I did something on somebody else's turn. Aren't you proud of me? I like played magic the way Richard Garfield was. No, wants. that means you played is it, so I'm not proud of you. I look, dude, Nira has bubbles. <laughs> Joey, I don't need to explain why that's awesome, right? Like, okay, no, so I'm gonna absolutely not. Oh, I get to draw two cards, right? Yes, and two lands. Because of ye old Right to flourishing. Oh hey, look at those two cards that I just put back on top. Okay, so I'm going to play a mountain for my first land drop. I'm going to play a Castle Vantress for my second land drop because uh, Scry lands are great. That you one control might enter tapped. Oh, you're right. Good call. <laughs> uh, instead, I'll play an Odawara. I will tap five, play a Gilded Lotus. Ooh. Because, you know, nothing says blue red like ramp. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will pass my turn. Sounds good. Do the untaps, draw two cards for the rights of mm -hmm. flourishing, and play two lands, two entire lands. Well, the thing is, I'm not actually done drawing cards yet. I, ooh, do I go for that instead? I might go for this instead. <gasps> I do, I go for this instead. I'll actually pay two, and I will put Ordeal of Nylea onto Babala Saga. Ordeal of Nylea is an aura. Whenever the enchanted creature attacks, it gets plus one counters. I don't care about that. What I care about is the completely separate second paragraph. When you sacrifice Ordeal of Nylea, search your library for up to two basic land cards and put them onto the battlefield tap to then shuffle your library. So it doesn't I even need love the plus this one counters card. stuff. Yes. Mazzy loves Ordeal of Witch because like you sack it and you recast it right away. I mean, Ordeal yeah. of Ny Nylea, it's so good, this card. I'll play my first land, which is Colony Garden. I'll make a Planto. And then mm -hmm. I'm actually going to go ahead and tap Baba La Saga to sacrifice Ordeal, Icar Wellspring, and the plant token. That's three card types. Icar Wellspring hits the graveyard, I'll draw a card. Ordeal of Nylea was sacrificed, I will get two basic lands. And Baba La Saga saw three card types, so then after that I will draw three cards, and you each lose three, and I gain three. Ah. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Right? We just so got domed. That's what okay, well, I see how many creatures your deck works. ETB'd, though? You made a plant token, and that's it? Yeah. So far, yes, that's it. Okay. So I will only be down net two. I'm up three, and... I love that life counter. Shiva, I'm so good. Yeah, dude, this thing is so sweet. Metal drama three. Like, it came in that Baldur's Gate thingy, and I just... Ooh. It's also my favorite fidget, not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that. It's so uh, pretty. Then I'll play a forest. Tap two, <laughs> I'll cast <laughs> a primal <laughs> druid. Olivia, yeah. that's a creature. You'll gain a life. When it dies, I also go and get a land. And I guess, sure, Olivia will gain another life because I'll also play an Ornithopter, which has two types, which is why I like it so much. There's so much fun stuff happening. I think I will be done. But when I move to my end step, we have a truce, Olivia. So we each draw a card right now? Correct. Cool. So draw. Oh, no. These are good cards, but I have too many cards in my hand. I have to discard. I'll lose a forest. Ugh. And I'll discard a Blink Moth Nexus as well. And that'll be me. Well done. Mm -hmm. I shall untap. I shall draw two. Thanks, Olivia. Oh, that's creepy that the your uh, sleeves are the forest too. 
uh-huh. with the same as your uh, playmat Ooh. and the forest in play. And you tell <laughs> I was like, that oh I like no. It. That's going to mess me up if you play a morph in that deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play Flooded Strand. I'll pay one to go and find a plains or island. Uh, I'm going to go find my hello fountain. I'm going to tap and just do some scroll rack shenanigans. Don't mind me. Oh, screw it. Temple Gardens there first. I'll grab that and shock it in. <laughs> I, I appreciate that. Just whatever I find. <laughs> just whatever the yeah. first one is that I get. <laughs> It says planes. I will grab that. No, I'm not going to do that. It's too early in the game to be mean. Since when? Okay. I'm curious. Uh, I have two blue floating left over from this uh, Gilded Lotus that I tapped to scroll rack. I put yeah. two cards away. I drew two cards. One of those cards I drew is a blue instant called Rapid Hybridization. It uh, destroys the- target creature, which can't be regenerated, and that creature controller gets a 3-3 green frog lizard. So, uh, Joey, I hope you have a 3-3 green frog lizard. Hey! No, what Because Baba Lissaga is going back to the swamp she came from. <laughs> what, what, what did she ever do to you? Uh, uh, it's not what she's doing. It's what she <laughs> will do. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's some pretty disgusting value. I can't pull Like, that. I saw that one loop, and I was like, ah, I understand uh, now. <laughs> these are problems. Yeah, it's it's really good. All right, but fun fact, Shivam, um, every time Baba La Saga dies, I bring her back in a new version. So she started that way, but then next time she comes back, she'll be this version. Next time, she'll be this version. And then she might reach huh. her ultimate form if you keep killing well, her. Well, see, I'm so all for the, the reincarnation hybridization yeah. cycle here. And I'm happy yeah. to encourage you to keep killing her to get new versions. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a beast token to represent the 3 3, which means Olivia gets a life off of the Soul Warden. All right. I will then take another game action, which is going to be a. Yeah, this whole playing on other people's turn thing, I could get used to that. Fun, isn't it? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to put Staggering Insight on my... He's becoming Ivasa. one of us. <laughs> Cast Trigger. Uh, I will draw a card. Oh, I love Staggering Insight so much. Oh, it's such a good card. I love it. Okay, so now she has plus one, plus one, and lifelink, and whenever the creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. So she's now plus two, plus two, because of her ability as well. That's the one thing. Tuvasa math gets a little wonky after a your little, board gets yeah, full. Yeah. <laughs> it sure does. I'm going to tap one for an Alcide of Life's Bounty, who is also an enchantment, and it is a life-linking friend that can sacrifice itself to protect something. Give it protection from color of its choice. So now Tuvasa is a 3-3. Three, three. No, she's a 4-4 four, four now. Hey, Olivia, you're, you're gaining life. Yay. I mean, I mean, still thank you for the cards and the presents and stuff, but... I'm hit, gonna hit you with four if that's acceptable. If not, and you're gonna regret it. I'll not give you nice things. So, okay. Bonk. That was a terrible idea on your part, especially when you know she was open. But literally, okay. haven't done nothing. <laughs> that's not Just my point. Okay. She can attack you if she wants things from me. You don't swing at me. That's the deal. So. But you can't exactly exclude anyone from your lovely enchantments you've just played. Ha ha ha! Oh, Lupal. think again. Oh, I can. She can. Oh, dear. Anyway, I gain four I and I draw a card. Step of the deck. <laughs> I will play my second land for turn. Thanks, Olivia. Interland Wait, what Harbor. Of, what kind of <laughs> is this? I'm hit you for four things. I'm going to land in your card. <laughs> Blunch ain't going to get given you no gifts. Yeah, no. Mm. Nope. No longer lunch time for you. Okay. Uh, did you gain your life off my Alcide? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. The same body voice yeah, in the sky. Sorry, editor, unicorn. I'm going to be a f- <laughs> problem this game with life gain stuff. So I'm going to cast another enchantment, Seal of Primordium. I can sacrifice it to destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hee hee. Hee That'll be my turn. Like my whole deck is that. And Shivam's whole board is that. And Olivia's <laughs> whole board is that. It's almost like that's a really good card or something. That's yeah, a real get problem. though when I don't get my stuff. <laughs> To be fair, though, Ailey's whole board is also that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, this is dockside feeding territory over here. <laughs> oh, man. Calling mine. Uh-oh. Oh. Found a lot of cards. Wait, what does that do? Draw an extra card. What's oh. mine? Cool. Untaps. All right, now I have a brick of mana, and I'm drawing three cards this turn. Wow. <laughs> As a blue player, I'm a fan. In response... To your draw step and okay. flashing an alms collector. What does that do? If an opponent oh. would draw two or more cards, instead you and that opponent each draw a card. 
I don't think that works the way That doesn't work. Does it not? No, because mm. Howling Mine and them are kind of like extra cards that are, they're not all part of one effect. Because Howling Mine is an additional draw separate from any other draw during your draw step. So it doesn't count that as being two or more cards in one go. I'm looking here, Alms Collector only applies if they would draw two or more cards at the same time. With Rites of Flourishing or Howling Mine, they're drawing them one at a time when each trigger resolves. Got it, okay. At the same time. That's ah. fine. Think um, back whereas you a did card nothing. that yeah. draws like, yeah. But uh, if I was to brainstorm and you Alms Collected yeah, me, then yeah, you would do I got you. All right, <laughs> so at the beginning of my turn, so I'm going to draw now three cards from Olivia's joyful friendship. No, you're going to draw one three times. I'm going <laughs> to draw. Because otherwise, I'm my draw step? collector back. <laughs> All right. Fair. So, <laughs> at the beginning of my turn, I untap. <laughs> now I'm going to draw my card for my draw step. Draw one for the Howling Mind. Draw one for the Right to Flourishing. Wow, that's a lot of lands. I mean, that's a lot of, of just cards in hand. And now I get, because of the rights, I get to drop two lands. So I'm going to drop a Castle Vantress which comes into play tapped. And I'm going to drop a strip mine, which is just strip mining. Because you never know when somebody's got the cradle that you just need to get rid of. <laughs> um, one, two, Very three, true. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a that's a lot of mana for a blue deck. Boy, what do I want to do with this? So, you know, I'm going to just do the thing that this deck is meant to do. So three, four, five, six, right? So I've now paid six mana. I'm bringing Nira into play. Nira says, when you cast a spell, you may put it at the bottom of its owner's library. If you do reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card, you may cast that card without paying its mana cost. And then put the rest of them onto the bottom of your library in random order. This ability triggers once a turn. So her fun thing is chaos time. Oh, so you're, the, the spell you cost is not an instead of you get the free thing. It's a you get the spell you're costing and then you get something else. No, the spell I'm oh. casting doesn't actually happen. It's just oh. like, whoops, this... Ponder is now at the bottom of the deck. What okay. is it now? And it's an Ulamog. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not an Ulamog because I'm not that guy. However, <laughs> because I do have Scroll Rack, I, I have a bit of an advantage as to what that thing might be. Just for the sake of giggles, I'm going to not Scroll Rack right now. Nope. <laughs> oh, you got giggles. There you, you go. the dream and then took it away. Well, because I... You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to live the dream. Do I'm going to tap this. Do it. I'm going to... Put two cards from my hand and take two cards off the top. And now I'm going to tap Odawara, the Soaring City, and I'm going to play a Fancy Schmancy Preordain. Wow, that is This cool. Preordain is actually going to go underneath my deck. What could it be? Wait, did I put these in the right order? Gonna I good. did. Gonna <laughs> What's it going to be? Let's find out. <laughs> it's a Consecrated Sphinx. Oh, good. Oh. Oh, good. So, Consecrated Sphinx says, Flying 4-6, whenever an opponent draws a card, I may draw two. Oh! So, I feel like we might be seeing the return of the Alms Collector. There's going to be a lot of, uh, <laughs> there's going to be a lot of Alms to be collected here. Also, Olivia gained two life this turn because of she's yes. two creatures. Well, three now with the Collector. Uh, there you go, three. Oh, man. Da, 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 da. It's really funny how, like, because reading the rulings on this, because, like, obviously, it's weird. Like, there's a rule that says you only ever draw cards one at a time. Yeah. But there's another rule saying, eh, but for the purposes of this, you kind of don't. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm going to untap, and I have a Howling Mine draw, and then mm -hmm. Shivam has a Consecrated Sphinx. Mm -hmm. that is going to have an opinion about that. Shivam, are you electing to draw two cards, which becomes you and Olivia each drawing one card? I would love to let Olivia draw one card if I can draw one card. Cool. That triggers Consecrated Sphinx again? Oh, oh no. <laughs> so we could just go literally forever, couldn't we? It's up to you. You're up the one in you. control of the May ability on Consecrated Sphinx. Okay, let me count how many cards I have in here. Four? <laughs> Uh, oh my god, I've never... Is this what it's like to play blue? <laughs> Just this draw what it's like to play blue, buddy. <laughs> cards on one person's turn. Hey, Olivia, you want to leave the game right now? <laughs> In a suicide <laughs> pact. <laughs> you know what? Crap. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm now stuck. I don't know how to, I don't know how to resolve it's this. It's called situation. a May ability, Shivam. <laughs> well, yeah, it requires you to make decisions. You know what, Olivia? You and I can both draw two cards. How about that? And you're so, going right, to stop cool. it after that? Yeah. Cool. 
Then I'm gonna do my rights of flourishing draw, shield. <laughs> I'm not listening. Okay, then I'm gonna do my draw step, Shivam. Oh my god, is this really gonna happen every turn? Yeah. I miss just playing on my turn. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's okay. We can we can figure this out. We all I make think mistakes. that that is bonkers banana, not not I mm, that's ridiculous. So I'm going to pay two and I'm going to cast Liquid Metal Coating, which is one of my other favorites in this deck to turn whatever I need into oh, a card. There's a card that needs to actually be hit by that stupid uh, Seal of Primordium. And not the scroll rack that's just going to give you big chunguses. Oh, I'm not going to do that anymore. It's not fun. It's more fun to be like, what's on top? Okay. I'm going to tap fine. the Liquid Metal Coating to turn the Consecrated Sphinx into an artifact. Ailey, I don't know if you have opinions about that, but maybe you do. Oh. It is also a way to achieve him have the can deck himself, but you know. There's like 40 but how ways do we to convince deck him to deck himself? That's the question. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's not me. hard. <laughs> I'm the most gullible mark in magic. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to make that Sphinx go away just to save Shivam's brain from responding to triggers. You know what? Cool. It's okay. You got to do the thing once. I'm, I'm okay with having understood that experience now. That like, was spicy. Like, I've literally just built this deck. I've never tried it before, and now I'm learning. <laughs> that was absolutely rad. Um, so I want to cast Baba. Thank you for I that experience, Joey. My life is better. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was really exciting. I'm just like I would have decked myself like, just for giggles. That would have been amazing. Okay, what I think I'll do for the next trick, I have two land drops this turn. Everything's a forest from the Yavamaya, so I will cast Shivam, one of our favorite commanders, Titania Protector mm. of Argot. Beloved. Uh, when she enters, she'll bring this Blink Moth Nexus that I discarded earlier back into play, and then Less I have two land drops. I'll play a Verdant Catacombs and a Terramorphic Expanse. Yeah, that feels pretty good. I will go ahead and sacrifice both of those just to save time and all that. I'll get two Elementals for that. I lose a life for the Verdant Catacombs and I'll end my turn there, but I have a Truce Enchantment with Olivia, so we will draw a card each on the end step. And Olivia and... gets three life from the two Elementals and the Titania. Yep. Absolutely true. Yeah, let me get those. Man, that is a living there. the dream turn right there, man. <laughs> I love this deck so much. It's just all of my favorite cards. And like, let's be real. This Magali Villeneuve art is just the best. Just absolutely oh, yeah. the best ever. Um, I'll go get my lands and I pass to Ailey. Wait. I mean, you don't need to argue tap? Titania to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's gorgeous. I love that Draw. deck so much. Play my first land for turn, Yavamaya Ghost. So what's the biggest problem on the board right now? friends with problems on the board. Hmm. There's a lot of problems Sphinx on this board, honestly. I'm doing of. nothing but being kind and generous, so. You are. I don't know, that alms collector kind of. <laughs> oh, are you not getting cards? Oh, I need to draw more cards. <laughs> I uh, thought it was lovely. Yeah, yeah. You got a little I exciting over there. Two extra draws. I only drew once. I need to draw two more. Yes? Yep. Oh, yeah. Hey, more things to do. I'm going to pay three for Commander Sphere. I don't like, what don't I like? I don't know. Soul Sister, Soul <laughs> Warden, Oblivion Ring. When this comes into play, remove another target, non-land permanent. This really, really does not want to have nice things. Oh, wow. <laughs> Remembering life triggers is hard, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm helping you it's, now, it's, see? It's really not, actually. <laughs> I'm drawing a card I'm off sorry, Tivasa. you're unable to handle such a thing. The salt is life. coming. <laughs> this is our second game today, mind you. I killed her <laughs> real fast in the first because she's like, oh, I'm playing 5D Jota. It's fine. Like, <laughs> she it was fine. The deck there was Until a banned card me. in it. Well, yeah, because that was the objectively correct decision. It was. At the time. It was. Everyone <laughs> might think that we're all here to play Magic. I'm actually just here to, like, sip tea and and watch. <laughs> watch the fire. Watch the Look, fireworks. man, I just want bubbles. <laughs> How big is Nira on the topic of bubbles? Uh, she is a 2-7. So, souls under the ring, hey? Yeah. 2-7 is a wildly weird stat line. That is. <laughs> That's true. Big butt. <laughs> well, I have two open mana and a angry Tivasa coming at you, Shivam. 5-5. Five, five. What is she? 5-5 five, five, lifelink. I will block with Tivasa. I mean, with Nira. <laughs> In response. Oh, come uh, on. I gain five life. Oh, okay. I gain five life. Oh. You're safe. <laughs> I'll say go. <laughs> okay. I'm like, what in green could even do two damage? <laughs> uh, three? 
<laughs> Pump spells. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Yeah, because you're playing giant growth in Tuvasa. Come on. <laughs> First off, I'll Steve. Steve. That's what does Glunch do? Glunch is flying. Zero five. Jellyfish. At the beginning of your end step, choose a player. They put two 1 1 counters on a creature they control. Choose a second player to draw a card. Then choose a third player to create two treasure tokens. Oh, wow. He's like Santa Claus. Yeah. Oh, man. Notably, that's one person is left out. Yes. Um, I wonder who. I wonder who be. that will be. <laughs> Everything's a forest, right? So I want planes. Yep. Everything's forest because of Yavi Mai. Everything's a forest. <laughs> Everything is green shovel. and it's covered in trees. Everything's <laughs> a forest. No, so don't yeah. forget your leaves. That's oh, so man. good. <laughs> that was so slick. I'm like, oh, I struggled to believe that was improvised. See. Have you been working on that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm cursed with this thing where if it fits the rhythm of a song I know, I'm just going to sing it. That's why every year I always do like a Frosty the Snowman list of commanders. Oh, wow. God. Well, tap two for Flump. Oh, goody. <laughs> well, Bird, lunch is jellyfish, a zero four lunch defender with flying. Whenever it's dealt damage, I and target opponent draw a card. Flump, Glunch. What's next? Like the Fibble Thips and Zinder Splits. I just like, I do just kind of want to see more of these, these creatures and, and their majestic names. All right. I'm passing after that. I'll discard with Cloakwood Hermit and Tempt with Glory. Untaps. Okay, so Joey, you did kill my Sphinx. That makes me sad. I I didn't. I Fair. just gave it a Mario metal cap, and Ailey is really responsible. And Ailey attacked you. Sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to draw the one for my draw step. I'm going to draw the one move. for my howling mind. I'm going to draw the one for my whatever the other one is. <laughs> One, two, Howling three, mind flourishing four, five, and drop. Six, seven, eight, nine. Goodness gracious, great balls of gravy. Um, <laughs> okay, so we're going to play a Sulphur Falls, which is a ye old dual land. I will play an island. One, two, three. I'm going to play a Midnight Clock. Oh. oh. Everybody loves the Midnight Clock. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four over here. To play Talran the Sky Summoner. <laughs> cool. Because, you know, with all the instants and stuff that I'm playing, I might as well get a thing out of it. I'm going to tap an island. I'm going to play Portent. Wait, hang on. Doesn't... Oh, wait. It's only instants and sorceries. Never mind. She said whenever I cast a spell, I may put it on the bottom. Oh, okay. Mm. okay. Yeah, so... so you get to choose uh, your spell. So that way you don't, like, goozle yourself. Okay. I'm playing Portent. It doesn't matter what Portent does because Portent is going to the bottom. Yeah, it's not important. Ha! Ah, <laughs> I appreciate that. So now I'm going to flip over and get a command tower. Uh, oh, non land! Non land! Yeah. Thank you, Mira. Palladium Mirror. Okay, fine. I'll yeah. get a Palladium Mirror. Turns out this deck also needs mana, so having a little mana dork comes to play. Also, I cast an instant earth sorcery, even though it didn't resolve. Yeah. So I do get a 2 2 Drake. Nice. Boy, howdy. What do we want to do with this pile of goo? We're going to tap three and play a crystal ball. Nice. You remember crystal ball from M11? It's basically pay one, scry two. Or pay one, tap nice. and scry two. It's great. I think I'm going to call that a day. I guess I'll do too much scroll reaction shenanigans right now so I don't do with it later. And I will tap uh, sulfur falls, put three back and draw three. Go ahead. I will tap a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> and draw a total of upkeep. three. Oh, yeah, okay. Midnight Clock gets the counter. Midnight Clock. I draw a total of three. Ooh, Olivia, I I, I want to I wanna keep being your friend uh, because my commander draws cards in chunks of three, which your alms collector will really enjoy. I love this. So I think I just want to keep being your friend. I will pay five mana to recast Babala Saga back with a brand new outfit. <laughs> and I will then pay one to attach instill energy to her. Okay. Enchanted creature is unaffected by summoning sickness. So it has haste. And I can pay zero <laughs> to untap enchanted creature, but only once during my turn. Oh, you didn't oh, use the good instill energy art. The one with I, God going zippity zap. 
Oh, this is, is that? No, I don't. I don't have. I only have this version. I'm sorry if I am not up to your That's standards. That's okay. <laughs> the worries, draw a card. Well, so now I'm going to when you do your activate thing. her. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I guess I will pay one. I'll tap Mishra's Factory for a mana. Use that mana to uh, turn Mishra's Factory into a two-two creature that is I also an artifact. Strip mine that land. stupid card. Don't worry about it. It's fine. You can still bl you can do it to the Blink Moth if you want because this one also has basically the same ability. <laughs> but I will tap Babala Saga, sacrifice this land that is also a creature and enchantment. Uh, I gain three, each opponent loses three, and then Olivia and I both draw a card because of the Alms Collector. And then I'll use Instill Energy to untap Babala Saga. Wait, I've missed a trigger. Titania saw a land die. I get another Alamantle. <laughs> That's going to be that one. Then I'm going to do it again because I am addicted to value. I'll tap the Blink Moth for mana, turn it into an artifact creature land, and sacrifice it with Babala Saga. Olivia and I both draw a card. Each That's opponent so loses wrong. three, and I gain three. 31. And I make another Amalantle. Then I have two land drops. I'll play Swamp and Tree of Tales. I love this deck so much. I will <laughs> pay one, two, and I'll cast Restore. Put target land from a graveyard onto the battlefield under Yeah. Your I'll get Blink Moth Nexus back because I am addicted to value and I want to do it all again next turn. <laughs> uh, then I'll move to combat. Ailey, you Hi. have the most life. Um, I do. Even though Olivia has the most life, but I'm Olivia. <laughs> we're 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 having a we're Your having friends. a moment. We understand yeah. each other exactly. Yeah. So, do you, do you so have Ailey, any artifacts in play? I have a lot of artifacts in play. Okay. Why? Just asking. <laughs> no reason. No big. Well, I'm going to attack Ailey for 18 total damage. Three <laughs> five threes and one three three. That she's. <laughs> that number is very large. I will put this little L seed in the way of one of your biggest ones, and I'll gain a life Sounds off of it good. when it dies. <laughs> cool. uh, and then you would take 13 damage, so I think you go down by a total of 12. Ah, good turn was good. I will move to discard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, I'll move to end step. I have a truce with Olivia, so we both draw another card. Yeah. And then I'll move to end step. Got to discard some stuff. Oh, shoot. What do I discard? Ah, uh, why can't I hold all these cards? Um. <laughs> Why are my hands so tiny? <laughs> uh, these sleeves are so sharp, you guys. It's like a big humble brag. <laughs> I'll discard a prized statue and this prize provisioner either. I will pass it on. <laughs> okay. Joey woke up and chose violence. So draw. I will draw again. And I will draw one more time. <laughs> one more time. Oh, midnight huh? clock goes up by one. Also, I'm going to tap it for a blue and scry while you guys are just doing your things. Bottom two cards. Hey, Joey, what's your biggest creature? It's five something, yeah? Yes, my five threes uh, are my elementals here. Okay. Uh, I've got two of those. Uh, I'm going to play Thriving Grow and choose white. So that's a Selesnia land. Let's do some more fun stuff, shall we? Joey has picked on me. I mean, I just, I, I'm gonna I just tap two to... here for Sithis. Harvest's hand. Whenever you cast an enchantment uh, no. spell, you gain life and draw a card. Yeah. And she's also an enchantment, so this goes up to four. So it's three now. Uh, she's also an enchantment, so I get a trigger here. I draw a card. Oh, good. Now we're doing dumb things. Let's go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cast Eidlon of Blossoms. This has Constellation. Ooh. Whenever this or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, draw a card. That's uh, an enchantment. No trigger on Tivasa, but Sithis will trigger. I'll gain one life and draw a card. Dink. That'll enter. I will draw a card. Dink. Cards in yeah. hand, please. Many. One, Too two, many. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Nine. Seven. Good and gracious. I will play yeah. my second land for turn, which will be Hall of Heliod's Generosity. It brings things back from the yard for me. That's actually also a very good target for strip mine, not gonna lie. Oh, that nice. card is terrifying. Then I'm gonna do green and thingy for Alpha Authority, Enchant Creature. That has Hexproof Ooh. and can't be blocked by more than one creature. Hey, Tsuvasa. <laughs> this resolves. She will be plus six. And you'll gain another life, and then draw... Yes, two cards. A card again twice. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness me. So many things in my hand. Wonderful. So many okay. Sorry, what was that enchantment again? Alpha Authority. Alpha Authority? I've never heard of this one. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, that, that that one's a spicy meatball. Yes, you yeah, should play it. Yeah, the hexproof is clutch. It's real good. 
I might need to find a hole in Tuvasa for this. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to find a hole in Joey's defenses right now and hey. swing oh. with a 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> a lie. She is 6. 6 buffs, so base hitting me for Oh, because for you got rid of the Seal of Primordium. Yes, and also that Dark Or the, the yeah. Alcea, so, that might have been the other thing. Yeah. Um, so it's a 7-7 seven, seven coming at you. Doesn't have like flying or other trampoline evasion now, does it? Just Not can't yet. be blocked anyway, by two creatures. She's just a seven seven. That can be blocked by one thing. Block with my primal druid, which is a zero three. When it dies, I'll go and find a basic land and put it into play tapped. Okay. Uh, I'll also gain seven life. I'll move to my end step. Nothing there, but I have to discard one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I'll discard Elspeth Conqueror's Death, Faith's Fetters, and I will say go. That alms collector is a real problem. Olivia, I didn't bully you for a turn. Are you proud of me? No. <laughs> that should be your default. <laughs> I will draw three. Clock goes up one. I feel like the alms collector is only a problem for you because of your midnight clock, Shiva. Be that as it may. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta uh, admit, that will be very funny. <laughs> if, yeah. if, like, the, the clock strikes the clock and Cinderella's in. like... I shouldn't have played that. <laughs> it's I fine. mean, it's just a cat cleric, right? You can kill it. Yeah, you've got With another the removal two rounds, we're all though. playing, totally, right? In red and blue? How do I kill things? You use the red spells. You killed my baby lasagna earlier. I think you have some as well. Hmm. Well, since I need some land, I'll ewit and then promptly play Kadamas that I'm grabbing. Nice. I will put one land out for my turn and another one on the battlefield tapped. Glad I did that. Just a big giant pile of lands at the top and I want other stuff. Get a horse. Oh, oh what now? Oh, I thought you said a, a horse. <laughs> yes, I'm getting a horse. Get a horse. <laughs> Does Brian know? Where will you keep it? I mean, I wouldn't keep it here. Yeah, yeah. Brian would vote nay on that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching my last um, appearance on Elder Dragon Night. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. That was too good. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot, Joey. I appreciate that a lot. My show is all about data and dad jokes. I got to bring that energy with me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> I broke Shivam. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> the best thing about those types of stupid jokes, too, is that you have that moment of like, do I say this? I shouldn't say this. It's the stupidest thing ever. And while you're thinking it, it's coming out of your mouth. Yep. You're saying it already. <laughs> yep. They're too powerful. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave two up and move to the discard and pass. Deal. Mm. All right. On taps. Upkeep. This dude goes up one. Wow. I'm Feel like a real blue player. I'm going to play on my upkeep. I'm going to tap this to Crystal Ball. This cry two. Nice. Bottom this one. Leave that one on top. Get to my draw. Draw one. Draw one. Draw one. Ooh, perfect. <laughs> now, Island. Uh, Serum Visions, which nice. is going to do nothing. Go to the bottom of my deck. <laughs> and instead, I'm going to flip over. Whoa, that's. Yo! Whoa. What happened? Mine? Dilation? That's a good I point. forgot to scroll rack, so I didn't get to put down the thing I was going to put down, but I'll take a mind dilation. Let's go. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay. The, I guess it can have to work more. It's super fun. Oh, I get another drink. Yep. That's awesome. I will I take it. Space. <laughs> <laughs> I will take a mind dilation. Let's go. I like that the, uh, the pencil actually just stays mad with me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. Okay. So, uh, Mind Dilation is rad. Damn. More free spells. Oh, yeah. Mind Dilation is a lot of words. So, whenever an opponent casts his or her first spell each turn, that player exiles the top card of their library. If it's a non-land card, I may cast it without paying its mana cost. Mm. Uh, so. Does that trigger Nira? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure <laughs> so, so, if you I cast don't your like spell, the thing you take from us, you can it. put it back. 
and, on the bottom of our deck and you get your oh my god yeah <laughs> it's sweet i love everything I about like this Shivam. this deck is I'm working so it's working <laughs> i'm so hey, excited Ailey, why don't you no pick idea. a better target hey i was dude going, i've Joey. done nothing <laughs> i've done nothing that to anybody me. except sit here and almost deck myself that's all <laughs> Killed my commander earlier. What do you? Think? Yeah. Okay. The one thing, because I had a floating <laughs> mana for God's sakes. Uh, okay, I'm going to pay six mana, and I'm going to play something that does do something. Ancient Copper Dragon. Oh. Oh. No. Oh no. Uh, um. I mean, it doesn't have haste, but it does exist. Oh. Okay. Uh. And sometimes existing is enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Swarm intelligence. Whenever oh, you cast bloody. an instant or sorcery spell, you may copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. I'm. This is pretty sweet. I'm sorry. I, I realize it's like. It is bad sweet. Keep going. Long, Keep going. Keep going. But it's, this is like all sorts of cool <laughs> things are happening here. I feel uh -huh. really like. I feel really excited about this. This is like popping. It's <laughs> so really fun good. when a deck does a thing that you want it to do, right? <laughs> True. Yeah. Uh, Joey, I'm going to hit you for two with a drake in the air. I will not block that. I take two damage. Go down to 46. Donk. Pass my turn. All right. I... Oh, wait. Uh, do you have any animatable lands? Uh, yes, I have Blink Mana. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to just gonna end that life. You're going to strip mine it before it's my turn? Yes. Well, I am going to respond because... What you're doing over there is kind of a lot. So everything's a forest because of Yavamaya. I will tap these three for green, and I will let you have one Mind's Dilation trigger, but I'm gonna beast within it. Ooh, okay, well, one Ooh. Mind's Dilation. You so cast you actually, your first spell. You, yeah, you take it off of the top of my library. Let's yeah, see so if go you ahead get and anything good. Flipsy flaps. The Mending of Dominaria. The Mending mm. of Dominaria. So I guess I can cast it, but I have to wait till my turn to cast it. Wait, uh, do you? No, Mind's Dilation takes it right away. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, the Mending of Dominaria, what does that do? When it enters and on the next chapter, it's going to be mill two cards, then you may return a creature card from your graveyard to your hand. So that's chapter one and two. Chapter three, return all land cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle your graveyard into your library. That's, that's not awful. Of... Okay, I will take it. <laughs> I will cast it. And I don't I put will... awful cards into my deck, Shiva. <laughs> I mean, have you thought about it? So it's a uh, mill two and then I can take deck. a creature from my thing and put it in my hand? Yes. Yeah. Milling, I get an island and a Git probe, uh, and I will take Consecrated Sphinx and put it back into my hand. Oh, no. Uh, Shoot, no. Go ahead. All right, oh, uh, Blink Moth. Blink Moth Nexus is very dead. Okay, now untap. Oh, and you killed uh, Mind Dilation, so I get a 3-3? A three, three? Yes, yeah, you get a beast. Uh, I draw one card three times for all of the shenanigans that are going on. Interesting. The first spell that I cast, you will get the top card of my deck. Maybe. I thought you just got rid of my deck. You just killed it. Joey. Oh, yeah, no, you sorry. Uh, no, now, now I'm worried about Ancient Copper Dragon. That's what's going on, on in my brain. Also, uh, you actually <laughs> killed one of my lands. So before it was my turn, I actually got another elemental. So I have one more 5-3 that can attack this turn, actually. Oh, good. Because, you, because of Titania, so. That's nice. That's nice. I'm still just terrified of Shivam in general. I'm a nice guy. People like me. That's what makes you so scary. Except for that uh, one guy on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay. Bastion of Remembrance. When it enters the battlefield, I create a 1 1 human soldier token. Whenever a creature I control dies, each opponent loses one life, and I gain one life. I love this card. It's so yeah, good. it's not for me to pull up the aristocrats. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great, dude. Don't worry about it. It's great. Uh, the second thing I'll <laughs> cast is a Poison Tip Archer. Oh, no. Reach, Death Touch, whenever another creature dies, each opponent loses one life. I love everything you're um, doing right now. Thanks. <laughs> God, the wrath of God. As it turns out, in my Titania deck, I have a Mending of Dominaria, so I will use that as a proxy for yours. Nice. <laughs> nice. Let's see. Let's see. What do I do now? What do I do now? Olivia, I think it's time for us to draw some extra cards. I'm I like it. Cap Babala Saga. Let's see, what am I eating? What am I eating? What do I not need anymore? I think I'll lose the Ornithopter and a Swamp. So I'll sacrifice these two things. That is a creature dying. So Bastion of Remembrance and Poison Tip Archer make each of you lose two life and I gain one life. Ding, ding. And then Olivia, you and I both draw one card. Because like Joey is the clear problem here, right? Like mm -hmm. I'm not just alone in this. No. I don't care who the problem is. I'm just being not the problem. 
I'm being. <laughs> there you go. I'll untap Babala Saga with the instill energy. Tap her again, sacrificing Tree of Tales and the human token. Bye, human. So, uh, we get so, paid for another two. Yep, you each lose another two. I gain one, and Olivia and I both draw one card. Wait, doesn't Babala Saga also do the... Oh, you're not sacrificing three different ones? Oh, you're right. Does, Shoot. I, she also don't, I was doesn't just, she? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we each I got so caught six. up in the triggered abilities that I forgot about the actual activated ability. I just wanted to draw the cards. <laughs> yes. Yeah, understood. Uh, I'll have gained an additional six, and each of you will have lost an, an additional six because of the two Baba effects. Yeah. He's so good. Two Baba effects? Oh, Jesus Christ. We got double Baba. <laughs> double 21. Baba. Double Baba. All right. Now I finally have stuff in my hand. I will play a Dark Moss Bridge as the first land drop. I'll play an Evolving Wilds as the second land drop. And Shivam, you keep on saying that I'm the threat. I feel like maybe I should attack you with all the cards that I have that are here. I gave you a free elemental, man. <laughs> By killing my commander. <laughs> I didn't kill your commander for that. I gave you the, the, the new one from your killing your land thing. Oh, but that's what that's what I wanted to sacrifice. Hey, Shivam. Uh, yes. Do you have Blasphemous Act in that deck? Pretty sure I do. Okay, just curious. <laughs> I know I've got Inferno. Oh, okay. Inferno keeps my commander alive. Do I attack Shivam? Olivia, who should I attack? Not me, because we can draw cards together. Well, I do have a Blasphemous yeah. Act in the deck. <laughs> I know, but like, who, who, who do you think I should attack? Because because uh, we, we we have an we have a, an understanding. Right? Yeah, there's there's a lot going on here. You've been nugging us for a billion. <laughs> yeah, you can always be spicy and just not attack. I've keep just been keeping toes. Isn't Mage busy? Does mm. not compute. Sorry. Okay, well, yeah, no. Get good. As dudes, must turn sideways. Yeah, yeah. see, uh, you tell you what, be, I'll send... it's so sophisticated to have dudes and just be like, mm, I choose not to fight. I'll send three at Shivam and two at Ailey. There you go. They are each five threes. I'll block one with my two enchantresses to kill them. Kill one of them. Okay. Two, two, and a one. Attack me with three of them? Yep. So 15 total damage coming. Okay, so Nero will block one, two, seven. She doesn't care. Uh, oh. My beast token will block one. They trade. Nice. And I will throw a Drake in front of the other one. They Drake dies. I take five, I think. Five damage hits you. And then I lost two creatures. Uh, so my Bastion and my Poison Tip see that. And then Ailey lost two creatures. And Shivam lost two creatures as well. Yes. Cool. Uh, so for my creatures, you each lose four because of Bastion and Poison Tip Archer. I gain two life. Then for Ailey and Olivia's excuse me, Alien Shivam's, uh, you also lose an additional four because of the poison departure seeing four other creatures die because he doesn't care about just my creatures. I hope that that all made sense. <laughs> what are we going to need to do to kill Joey right now? Disconnect his internet. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move to my end step. We draw and uh, I'll discard this God's Eye Gate to the right guy and pass to Ailey. Okay. I will untap. I'm getting rid of my mind's eye with me and man. You keep killing all the cool stuff? things I have, like, the first turn I get them. Because they're so good, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just paying it forward. Like, I've never played this color combination before, or even these colors, frankly. So, like, it's like I don't get to enjoy the, the <laughs> flavor of drawing cards and doing dumb things on your turn. <gasps> you, you could have drawn infinite cards with the Consecrated Sphinx on, like, turn four or something. Yeah. Know, man. That would have been real cute. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm just scared of everything that you could do. If I let you do it, I feel like the game ends. I feel like you are scared of the potential for what I could do, which is something that I'm not aware of, so I can't maximize yeah. and use. <laughs> it's like you're more scared than I am uh, educated, I guess. <laughs> well, because if you hit someone, you could gain up oh, to you're 20 scared, treasures you're more scared and copy than I'm every spell you cast. I mean, yeah, but what spells do I cast? Ooh, I can ca I copy I Ponder. <laughs> I'm going to play my first land as an is land, and then I'm going to play Hengegate Pathways, my second land. Okay, I'm going to try help. I don't, maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve lands. Cool. Oh, did the midnight clock three, get a counter, Shivam? Oh. Four. Thank you. Five. Six. Seven. For brilliant restoration, return all artifact and enchantment <gasps> cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, In Jesus. response to this, I'm going to sack this to draw a card <laughs> so I can return that as well. <laughs> oh no, that's cool. rad. All right. So artifacts, enchantments, come back. That costs so much. 
Okay, so Commander Sphere comes back. Sithis comes back. Eidolon of Blossoms comes back. Faith's Fetters comes back and is going to... Titania's not an oh, activated no. ability, is it? No. No, but Baba La Saga but Baba La Saga is. sure is. No. Hey, Baba. <laughs> have a Faith's Fetters. Bonk. I will gain four life. Yeah, that's good. Yes. <laughs> no, wait. Where am I? That's on All right. there. Yeah. F's in chat. Pay respects. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Elspeth Conqueror's Death comes back. Exile target permanent and opponent controls with converted mana cost three or greater. Mm. Alms Collector. <laughs> you want me to get rid of that? I, I will draw you cards if you do. But Olivia will be mad at me and she's not doing anything wrong. How, how will you draw us cards? Wheels. Wheels? Oh, no. Oh, for Collector? Yeah. Collector hates yeah, I don't want, time to freeze. I have really good stuff in here. I don't want a wheel right now. I'm giving you. I'm being I have nice. Three cards. Okay, cry me a river. I'm letting you draw three every turn. <laughs> okay, Olivia, yeah, you real. get to pick where this goes. That stupid poison tip archer. Or the bastion. Yeah, either of those. I've also got primordial hey. coming back. I seal the primordium, so I can kill that. Oh that's yeah, my, you can kill both of card. them. No. Yeah. Oh no. Joey is the clear problem. Archer. I'm hurting archer. everybody. Okay. See, us from I'm Joey. helping right. everybody. Joey's hurting everybody. Archer but Olivia, goes. I thought we had an understanding. We do. I haven't done shit to you. <laughs> Except let you get four cards minimum a turn. And then just <laughs> nug us for a million. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty spicy. You're not gonna You've lie. made right. you have made bad decisions. Seal the primordium comes back and then immediately dies to kill Bastion. Alright. And then Al Seed comes back. A great Woo! sadness. I did things. Okay. Yeah, this things is my contribution to dealing with Joey. Then I'm gonna do more dumb stuff. <laughs> about to get many more cards in my hand. Hey, kiddo. <laughs> right, something. All that glitters on my commander. Ooh. Yes. Lots of triggers oh, happening no. now. Uh, draw, oh, no. draw, draw, gain life. One. All that glitters two, is bad news. Uh, no, she. All that glitters is gold. <laughs> only <laughs> shooting stars. <laughs> only. Only shooting stars. Oh, 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 damn it. I don't have enough white for this. Well, if only you hadn't cast a 12 white costing spell. I know. Ago. I did this to <laughs> myself. Yeah, but Tuvasa is still like a 40 40 or something. <laughs> yeah, she's going to be Lorge. I need to count that. White, whatever, whatever, whatever. For Calyx, Destiny's Hand. This is a lovely planeswalker, bro, that says, look at the top four cards. I can reveal an enchantment card, put them uh, in my hand. Uh, or minus three exile target creature enchantment you don't control until that enchantment leaves and then return all enchantment cards you grab to the battlefield. So he is here. Hi, bud. So he's on four. I'm going to... Um, problem creatures. Dragon. Big dragon. Shiv him. Wait. Are you going to use that dragon to knock Joey? Yes. Okay. I'll leave the dragon. Don't... Literally, Joey dragon. is don't the only thing I'm worried about. Then I'm just going to plus him. We'll do that. Yeah, I'm not looking at you even remotely right now. One, two, four. Looking for an enchantment. Ow! Hi, bub. Okay. The tension sphere revealed. The rest goes to the normal library. Good gracious. I'm with you there, kiddo. Okay. Yeah, I did things. All right, now, how many enchantments do I have? So I have nine enchantments, and then all that glitters counts my artifacts, so that's another 10. So it's 19, 20. So she's a 21. <laughs> oh, with X <laughs> She's a 21, That's... so I can just murder somebody, but I can't. I don't have trample, and it's swinging at Joey. Hi, Catch. Joey. Hi, Joey. I will put my beast in front of it, and okay. you will gain an unfortunately large number of life points. Yeah, I'll go up to, what, 38? That's nice. <laughs> spray, I need guys. trample. Where's my trample? I'll find it. Actually, wait, hang on. What color is that beast? It was green. Green. Oh no! Ah. Are you just are you are you killing me? No. Do you have it's mana to mana activate open. the Alcyon? Okay, I'll get you next turn. Wow, ambitious! <laughs> Damn it! I didn't yeah. leave it open. I could have killed you. I, I don't know if it would have actually killed me because if you gave it protection from green, the Alpha Authority would fall off. True. And then you would lose some of the buff. So that's a thing to be. Never mind. Jk yeah. lol. But I'm just glad to live another day. That's where I'm at. <laughs> cool. That's my turn. I did this. Okay. Fuck goes up, why one? Draw three. Okay, cool. This helps. I'll play two lands for turn. 
I can't believe Clock is just going to be like, shuffle your hand in your graveyard to the library and draw one card. <laughs> oh, I also needed good. to discard three cards, so... Okay, I'll do that. I'm going to play a perfectly on-curve Sol Ring. And then I'm going to... I would like to preface this with, I have done nothing but nice things. I would like to continue to do nothing but nice things. This will enable me to do more nice things. <laughs> Great. I'm going to play okay. an Explum Ancient. Huh. Triple that mana. I'm surprised you could still play it after a destroyed commander. It needed to be banned on day zero. Also, yeah. not my fault. I wasn't on the RC yet. <laughs> if you were, you would have banned that card right away because it definitely destroyed commander, right? That and Bolas of Citadel and whatever other crap, Granith I can't Magistrate. I tell you the last time I've run into a Bolas of Citadel. Like, seriously. Wait, does Nyx Bloom say anytime you get mana from anywhere or is it have from your lands? It's a permanent four nice. mana. It makes yeah. triple. I don't think I've ever actually seen that card in person. <laughs> I I once when I was playing against EK, I right of replication his Nyx Bloom Ancient. <laughs> every Did you land kick it? that I Yes, yeah, I got five yeah, copies of Yeah, let's go. So, so every land tapped for something like a thousand mana or whatever. <laughs> that's it was, brutal. It was, <laughs> it was like fireball. That's a spicy meatball. It was so fun. Thank yeah. goodness that right, mana so burn isn't that a thing. Uh, <laughs> I'll kick off the festivities with Master Ceremonies. Nice, oh, this guy that. is a Taps. really fun card with a lot of text on it. Yeah, but it's only the beginning of my upkeep anyway. Oh, you pick Among Us and we pick like cash money or something, card draw or information, mm. or whatever. Oh, a I generous love that card. rhino. That real cool. Everything's still a forest, hey? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to cultivate. But I'm going to do so much on my upkeep. <laughs> <laughs> Trying not to worry about it. And that tenuous truce with Joey has just been feeding him cards. Mm -hmm. Me too. The alms collector has also stopped me from drawing probably eight cards at this point. Yeah, because the the tenuous truce with the alms collector, because he you're supposed to draw three each of those triggers, hey? On the Baba activation. Yeah, yeah. but I want I wanted to just be, getting one be, now. Want to be good? Want to be nice? Yeah, but you're still nugging us for like three, three a pop, which is no well, joke. I mean, I don't know how. It, your life total dwindling could possibly be traced back to the thing that I'm doing. You're at 56. <laughs> <laughs> I, l listen, I'm trying, but y'all got rid of my aristocracy cards. <laughs> yeah, we sure did. <laughs> and Nira's so cool. <laughs> I yeah, love this deck. Fun. This is so much fun. Oh, this makes I've me excited. Got five I've got to spend. Let's see. I will Vizier of the Menagerie. I'll look at the top card anytime if it's a creature I can play. Vizier of the many Jerry's. Vizier of the, I'd like to speak to the managery. <laughs> Jerry, I hate it. Um, I will, I'm going to pass. And if someone needs to blow up arms, 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 arms collector, I understand. I don't need to yet because I can't. And but... I will not be discarding to hand size because I am at hand size. All right. Yes. On taps. You got a whole lot of uh, tricks coming. The clock goes up by one. How is the clock not at 12 yet? Because I haven't been feeding it. Oh, you've chosen not to? Yeah, because I've been tapping out to do other spells and stuff. And because I don't want to accelerate it into just doing nothing. That right. seems dumb to me. It has eight turns, which aren't a may, but then he didn't pay extra mana to add more counters. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, on my upkeep, I'm going to tap the, well, uh, the, the mirror guy to float a mana, and I'm going to scry to. <laughs> That's a look. What'd you find? There is. Yeah, for real. Oh, that's hella sweet. <laughs> um, I think I... How do I... Okay, I'm gonna put that right back. <laughs> um, okay. I must know. She, I'm like, who put these cards in this deck? They're a genius. <laughs> so cool. No, but the question... I'm Now I'm like, how do I trigger this? And that's what the, the trick is. Like, how can I make... Wait, wait, wait. Does that... Are you for real? Does that actually do... <laughs> Oh, now I want to. Oh. I know. Spence. Sorry, I mean, it's, it's, it might not be that exciting to you guys, but it just, it, it's the sort of thing that makes me real happy. Because if this works the way I think it will, this is going to be sweet. Pay one. I'm going to swap. Remember, Sheevan, you'll draw three cards, but you'll also mill two for the Mending of Dominaria after your draw step. Right, right, right. Okay, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to leave that scroll. I'm going to leave my scroll rack alone. So I won't tap this, I will tap it differently. I will go to my draw phase. Draw one, two, and three. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweetness. 
Okay, I'm just going to mill the two for Mending of Dominaria, and then I will scroll rack later. So there's an island. There is a Niv Mizzet. A uh, Niv Mizzet will come back to my hand because of the creature part of Mending. So here's the tap for the Crystal Ball that I did. Sorry, I've, I've never done this before. I've never played a Spellsy deck. I don't... Reveal I'm learning. the power of blue. This is so neat because I've got so much potential. <laughs> it's so wild. Joey, should we have intervened? Should we have helped him? <laughs> Stopped him from going over to the dark side. Stephen's about to become like a an all combo player. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, dude, I love combo. People are always like, oh, why would you play combo? Isn't that me? I'm like, no, dude. I just I'm, play creature uh, based combo. But forty counter spell Shivam. <laughs> forty counter. You know, my first era. deck ever was a blue white control deck. Let's see here. So, tapping to scroll rack. Put five of these guys back. Want them to come out like this. Five to switch. With the scroll rack. Scroll rack is such a cool card. It's a really <laughs> good card. No wonder it was like so infinitely broken for so long. And I get two land drops. So I'm going to just play them. I'm going to play a mountain. I'm going to play a fabled passage. I'll deal with you later. <laughs> it also can tap for green mana if you don't want to crack it. Oh, good Happy point. Alpha. Thank you. Yeah. You're Thank you. I'm very helpful. Don't kill me. What the hell? <laughs> what is this card? Wow. Wow, that is a sick card. Oh my god. This is the coolest day of my life. <laughs> We're excited to see it. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm t I know I'm sorry. I'm okay, no, I'm going to play blue. I'm excited. I'm also nervous. I feel like you're going I'm to going to play here. March of the Swirling Mist. What does it do? Doesn't matter. It is going away. I get a drink. <laughs> We're going to flip Magma Opus. Oh, oh wait, Swarm oh. Intelligence happened though. I cast uh, Instant Sorcery. I can copy that spell, but I can't because it's an X spell, so it doesn't matter. But I get Magma Opus, which I'm going to cast. I get another Drake. Magma Opus does four damage divided as I choose among any number of targets, and then tap two permanents, and then create a 4-4 four, four blue elemental, and then draw two cards. Very good. And then I'm going to do it again because of Swarm mm -hmm. Intelligence. So here's my 4-4 elemental first off. So what we're going to do is we're going to kill that uh, alms collector. Over on that side, Sithis needs yes. to probably die. Well, no, yeah. actually, hang on. What is over there on Joey's side? What do you got for creatures, my dude? Uh, Titania's a 5-3, right? Yes, but she's your favorite. Yeah, you know what she's <laughs> even better at doing? Being in the graveyard. Oh, um, dare you. Before, I will, I will crack the Evolving Wilds before see? she dies. Right, Look at that. Elemental. Yeah, don't yeah, cry yeah, your yeah. crocodile tears at me, bud. Um, <laughs> okay, Magma Opus next is tap two target permanents. Tapping permanents is so irrelevant. Unless you want to swing at something. Yeah, but I'm going to be swinging with a flyer. Joey, you got like untapped creature there. I have the It five, is now three tapped and like three of your lands are tapped. Bro. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. You're going to tap in a second. And uh, then I draw if four you're cards. tapping three of my lands, I'm gonna float three mana. Are I you guess. drawing four cards though? Because of the I alms killed guy? the alms collector. Yeah, but doesn't it all happen at once? Oh, does it? I think so. State-based effects can't be checked while a spell is still resolving, so the first one would be replaced. But then once alms collector is dead, the next one yeah. would be fine. Okay, so then I draw one card because that thing is still active, right? Yeah, you and Olivia both draw one card. Okay. For the first one, because Arius, right. you're right. That's a, that's a good thing to catch that it doesn't die Thank until you. the spell is done resolving. Yeah. Right. Second step. I've got four more that I can divide as I choose among any number of targets. Sithis was had a toughness of what? She's got two toughness. Okay, I'm gonna ping her for two, and then I'm gonna oh. ping Joey for two. Ouch. I've got two other permanents I can tap. I don't want to tap two all like all your lands. That seems just mean. And then I'm gonna draw two cards, and I'm gonna make a second elemental. Nice. That is what this deck was built to do. And uh, I got four drakes out of that. So mm -hmm. now fun things are going to happen. Maybe I should have done this first, but I don't care. I'm going to leave three untapped and I'm going to play Omniscience. Oh, oh Christ. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> so that was that was swell. So I'm going to play uh, niv Mizzet Perrin. Uh, <laughs> every time I draw a card, I do damage to a target. Every time a player casts an incident sorcery, I draw a card. Then I'm going to play Ooh. Consecrated Sphinx. Uh -huh. Then I'm going to play uh, Ancient Silver Dragon. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life right now. <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> How about in response, I'm going to generous gift Nib Mizzet. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's though. fair. I still draw a card. I still do a point of damage to something. Uh, Joey, you can just eat it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Thanks. Appreciate that. New visit goes away. It won't Ooh. matter very quickly, though, because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play... Uh, oh, it's all free! It's all free! <laughs> it's, all um, free. <laughs> it's all free! I don't know what to do with all the joy. I'm going to play Amanatu's Augury. What's Get that? another Drake. Exile the top eight cards of your library. This is what I was cackling about earlier. This is a card I discovered last week and is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Exile the top eight cards of your library. I can put a land from them onto the battlefield. Until end of turn for each non-land card type, I can cast a card of that type from among the exiled cards without paying its cost. I can do this twice. So let's exile one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight. There are no lands in there. That's a total whiff. So now let's look here and see what we can cast out of this pile. First off, I'm going to play a Thran Dynamo. Doesn't matter. Everything's free. Then I'm going to... Oh, I might have goozled myself. I hope so. I have a really fun next turn. <laughs> That's okay. I just won't play that one. I'm going to play an Itali. Because yes. it's there. I'm going to play Otherworldly Gaze. Which is, look at the top three cards of my library, put any of them into the graveyard. So it's just kind of like Surveil 3. I'm going to put two of those, Soul Ring and Brainstorm, in the graveyard. Exile the rest of these, because that's what Amnatu's uh, Augury says. You exile them and you play them. So now I'm going to copy it again. I'm going to go uh -huh. off and draw another eight. So we've got land. Oh, what the hell is this? I am so sorry. I apologize. I, this is bad mannered. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. <laughs> this remember, is this remember is how you were like Joey's afraid of my potential. Yep. Well, <laughs> well, bro, you're about to get some more afraidness because. Um, okay. God, do I even want to play this? It would just be disgusting. God, I just drew Clone Legion wow. for each creature target player controls. Put a token onto the battlefield to copy, but I'm not going to do that because bookkeeping seems bad. Um, I mean, you if you target me, that also gets copied with the swarm intelligence, right? If you target me, you basically get eight elementals and a Babala saga. Like, oh my god, yeah. that gets copied with... Yeah, that gets copied with the Omniscient. <laughs> you can also get multiple copies of the Nyxbloom Ancient if you wanted yeah. to copy oh, Olivia's Jesus board. Christ, also can you imagine? <laughs> that Why would he real... need Nyxbloom, though? If he, nothing, he's got a yeah, Nothing costs anything. Good point, everything's free, yeah. Everything's free. I threw away my Inferno because I didn't want to wipe my table. <laughs> Just assuming at this, this point, this she kills us with value. <laughs> Um, or I kill myself with value, right? I know what I'd choose. I'm going to play Interpret the Signs, which is scry three, then reveal the top card of my library, draw a card equal to that thing. I cast it, I get a Drake. I'm going to scry three, reveal the top card. The top card of my library is an Archmage's Emeritus, which is four. So I draw one, two, three, four cards. And I put those in my hand. Then I'm going to scry three, reveal the top card of my library. It's going to be a Mystic Confluence. So I'm going to draw five so I can play instant. I'm going to play a land of Mystic Sanctuary and get something back. Do you have three islands? One, two. Ooh, you were right. Okay, well, whatever. You can go away. I'm just going to chuck that because who cares? And then I'm going to play Diluvian Primordial for my creature, oh. Oh, uh, which man. is for each player, exile one instant or sorcery from their graveyard and uh, cast it without its mana cost. What instant sorceries do you have, my friends? Uh, mostly ramp and generous gift. Thirst for meaning, brilliant restoration. Okay, uh, brilliant restore restoration. And beast within. Let's see, thirst for meaning lets me draw two cards, you know, I'm gonna forget it, I don't need to draw yours. I'm going to use your generous gift to generously gift the thing that gives Tuvasa hexproof. No. I'm going to yeah. use Joey's beast within to beast within Tuvasa. <laughs> Fair, I have an elephant. All my lovely things fall off. This is insane and I am sorry. Is this this is what power feels like? Also, don't think that both of those get countered by your swarm intelligence. I get to copy those, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get double double elephant beast within. Oh, and I get two more drakes. Let's see the other two elephants I get. I'm going to give you a three three Joey for that liquid metal coating. Rude. <laughs> I get it. And I'm going to give Olivia a three three for her tenuous truce. And then I'm going to just continue to play some free things. Archmage Emeritus, is whenever I cast or copy an instant or sorcery, I draw a card. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. Mm -hmm. Sensei's Divining Top, because that's what I need in my life right now. <laughs> Mystic Confluence. And you're like, why, Shivam, are you playing all these cards all at once? I'll explain in just a second. Mystic Confluence. 
I'm going yeah. to return a couple of things. I'm going to return three of Joey's uh, elementals to his hand, okay. which is whoop. And then I'm going to Echo of Eons. Each player shuffles their graveyard into their library and then draws seven cards. Okay. Graveyard and hand, right? Graveyard and hand. Oh, oh response. Oh, that. and we do it twice. That's gross. Is that okay. a may? Oh, I may. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna force you to do that twice because that's just I'll, stupid. Give him. I'll have a response to that because I still have three mana floating over here. When you tap oh. these down, back, you know, 48 minutes ago or whatever. I'm going <laughs> I'm to sorry, infernal I grasp. I apologize. No, I'm, bro, going fast again. I, I'm being cheesy because it's funny. I'm gonna infernal grasp your red dragon there before I lose my mana. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If- but it goes into the graveyard, and then I can shuffle it back into my library. Yeah, yeah. yeah I just don't want it to hit anyone this turn, and I'm going to hit you. Anyway. I understand. Uh, I don't and I lose two all. life for casting this spell, and then we do a big shuffle dance. This is awesome. I love this. This is everything. <laughs> I get why blue players do this crap now. Okay, but the question is now: Can you kill us? Well, I was going to hit him for a lot, but now I can't. Um, <laughs> And because I cast a spell, I get to draw a card. Oh, and all of you guys drew cards, so I get to draw two cards. Oh, oh yeah, you basically get them. to draw as so many you can cards draw as you 63, want. 64 here, I think. What is it? No. Because oh, we no. each drew seven, which is 21, and he gets to draw two for 62. 62? No. Uh, Why can't I do math right now? You know what? I'm just going to draw... You can draw a shit ton. Yeah, I'm going to draw, let's say, 28 cards. Well, you can play them all for free, so yeah. Yeah. Go on, Shivam. Draw your entire library. See if you can yeah. kill us. <laughs> yeah, you know, maybe I... Maybe I think I you will. literally just do the thing where you, like, plop the deck into play. I've never done this before. <laughs> so cool. This is... I'm sorry. I'm just, like, giddy at how ridiculous this is. 28 cards. Um, we're going to play Jin Gitax's Progress Tyrant. Oh. Uh, whenever I cast an artifact or instant, I copy it. <laughs> Like, the thing is, I don't have anything that gives haste in here. How can I kill you or anyone? Mm-hmm. People are going to be so mad at me for just building a deck that kind of doesn't do anything. Or like, Have you, I don't, like have you played I don't, Magic a, before? <laughs> I, I also don't, I wouldn't say that it's not doing anything. I'd say that it's doing it, a lot of powerful some things. It's doing a mm-hmm. lot of powerful some things, but it's like, it's, I'm trying to figure out how can I win off of this? And that's a challenge. You need a haste giver because you got a crap ton of elementals there. I need something that'll let me actually attack because I've got cool things I can do. I see why people hate blue players. <laughs> uh, cast a shark words. typhoon. Oh, there we go. We can make some we sharks. Cast a soothsaying. We can cast an arcane bombardment. Niv visit. Yeah. Bloodfire Colossus. Yeah. It's a six damage to each player and uh, creature when I blow it up. And I'm going to cast a Melic. Is it Paragon? which lets me play with my top card revealed. Ooh, that's not a good one. Okay, so now I'm going to top to just <laughs> look at the top three cards and do some fiddle faddle. If I like just end this turn, people are just going to hate me forever, isn't it? No, I have so many fun things I can do. But also, I'm not opposed to death. I will just, I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> like next turn, I'm going to be able to win super easy, but this turn, I don't know if I can. Do you play counter spells? No, I don't. I have like one counter spell in here, maybe two. Play this, uh, interpret the signs, scry three, and draw that many again. And I'm going to scry three. Okay, and I reveal a sublime epiphany, so I draw six cards. So I'm going to hit Joey for six. One, two, three, four, five. Take it. Six. And then I'm going to nine drakes. I'm going to scry another three, reveal ancient copper dragon, and <laughs> draw another six. And Back. nug Joey for another six. One, two, three. Back. So I've taken a total of 12. Yes. And then I'm going to play into Copper Dragon. You know, I mean, I'm just Am going... I correct in saying we're, we're pretty dead here? Not right now, <laughs> but like next turn, I guess. Because I've got all this stuff that happens. And once I start casting spells next turn, uh, yeah, like, basically... You, you have how many cards in hand? You can play them all for free, right? Yes. Each yeah. instant or sorcery is niv Mizzet going off again. Oh, I guess that's true. Yeah, um, yeah. I guess I can just kill you. Oh, <laughs> I think like, so. I can also play a bunch of soul fire eruption, which does nine points of damage twice, so that's eighteen. Um, and then let's see, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So basically, all of you guys are at minus six life because once I pop this, everybody dies. So, uh, so yeah, I can cast soul fire eruption twice and kill um, Olivia. Then I uh-huh. can choose any number of target creatures or players, so I'll just choose uh, 
Joey and Ellie. Flip over the top card of my library. It's a brainstorm, so I guess uh, Alias takes one, and then See, here's is it the thing. Zero. Boo. Um, if I hadn't generous gifted, I'd have destroyed Shivam. Oh, that would have been so funny. Oh, oh that would have been oh, so funny. funny. <laughs> that's funny. So, one, two. Oh, if only. What, uh, how does the soul fire kill us, by the way? I think I've confused <laughs> myself. I'm going to pass my turn <laughs> instead. God Just damn it. Shivam hurt himself in confusion. Yeah. And, uh, like, you do have, like, a bunch of sharks and a bunch of flying creatures. Yeah, I've got like a lot of it's sharks and stuff, yeah. but it's, I'm going to pass. The damage itself isn't there yeah. for, for instant kill, but the creature board state is undeniable. Yeah, like literally if the turn creatures. gets around to me, then I can kill all of you. So, so go ahead. I, I, <laughs> I didn't expect to do the untap. I am still Faith's Fettered by the by Babala Saga. And I draw one, two, three. Are those still in play? Yes. So if we cast an instant artifact or sorcery, region, Jinkataxius counters it. For the first time he's turned, right? Yes. Well, I'm gonna see what I can do. Shivam, you're at 13. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the thingy says. I will cast Reclamation Sage to destroy the Faith Sweaters that is on my commander. That goes into bit. Alms Collector is dead, right? Yes. We are gonna try some stuff. I'll tap <laughs> Babala Saga, sacrificing Dark Moss Bridge and one of my three threes. I will gain three life, draw three cards, and each opponent will lose three. Okay. Yeah, like I might actually have just yeah. died. Okay, I will untap. I got Wait, the Joey, how did you destroy the Faith Fetters? <laughs> uh, Reclamation Sage. Uh, actually, Maybe. I'm going to Sublime a 50 and counter that. Oh. Well, okay, I'll put those three back. What else would you oh, like I to guess, do with Sublime Epiphany? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sublime Epiphany, a bunch of things happen. First off, I get a, a big 5-5 five, five shark. Sure. Or 6-6. Six, six. So I counter that spell. Then I can uh, turn a non-land permanent to hand. Um, I am going to balance the token, a beast token. Sure. And then create a copy of target creature I control. So I'm going to clone my ancient copper dragon. And then I'm going to uh, draw a card. Then I'm going to do it again. Uh, and just draw a card. And bounce his other beast. Goodbye. All right. Well, then, instead of continuing on that, I'll pay one for an enchantment, abundant growth, draw a card. I hope pay the one. Shivam figuring his turnout just goes into SpongeBob a few moments later. For real. <laughs> I apologize uh, about that. I really, really do. Oh, I'll please cast don't him. stress. New deck, you never play blue. Everyone gets confused the first time they play yeah, blue. It's literally the first right. time you're playing it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I've never played yeah. this deck before. I cast a Skull Clamp with Jinkataxius Counters. I'll then pay three to cast a Thousand Year Elixir, which lets me untap one of my creatures. Hey. That's all I can do. I can't activate Baba La Saga, so. Mm -mm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I'll let it. I'll let that go. I so. am all done. All my I go. I'm going to crack my commander's share to draw a card. Shivam, how deep in the library are you, my guy? I <laughs> have 10 cards left. Right. Okay. I still draw three cards. I live. Yes. The bestower still bestows. Oh, so. I forgot to draw a card off of Emeritus. And remember We're the first done, baby. Uh, instant sorcery or artifact that we cast each turn is countered. Yeah, it's going to be countered. So I will. Oh, I have to play okay. with my top card revealed. Hang on, little man. Okay. So. Oh, I'm sorry. I, there are two Nivmas of Parent Triggers. Uh, Joey, eat two. I will play Soul Ring, which will get countered by Jin. <laughs> is Jin an artifact by any chance? Jin is a legendary creature, Phyrexian Praetor. Oh no, he's just Phyrexian Praetor. God damn it. I can't really do anything that helps anything, but I can okay. minus three on Kellex to make Niv Mizzet go away. Yeah. Does that exile it or does it just... It uh, puts him underneath a enchantment, so I'm going to put him underneath my Oblivion Ring. All right. He will just yeah. sit in exile? Yeah, so he just sits in exile until that disappears. I will play a Canopy Vista and a Seaside Citadel, and nothing else in my hand actually affects anything, so I will say go, Olivia. Okay. I forgot go my bus. Arcane Bombardment trigger, but that's okay. Beginning of my upkeep. Each opponent chooses money, friends, or secrets for each player that chooses money. You and I will make a treasure token for each player that chooses friends. You and I will make a 1-1 green-white citizen creature token. 
for each player that chose secrets will draw a card. What helps uh, you most? Susan, you first. I will make a treasure. So will I. Olivia, which do you need most? I, I like drawing cards. Cards it is? I will also draw a card. And then I will draw three for my turn. I'm just turning Consecrated Sphinx off. <laughs> you <laughs> can chill, buddy. <laughs> I'm going to play this. Silvala Explorer returned. Uh, and just so you know, non-creature spells cost two more this turn. Oh, because That's of Elspeth. That's kind of important. Two more than three. Oh, I think I know how to do this. Turn things sideways? I mean, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I was trying to understand, like, I'm just learning. I appreciate you all for letting me have this chance to, to test this out, because this is sweet. Heartwood Storyteller. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, each of that player's opponents may draw a card. Okay. Smothering Tithe. That would have been real sick last turn. I know. For real. <laughs> I was just thinking that. It was like, dang, moment too late. Play Glunch. Long last, our boy is here. I know, right? Finally. Oh, Glunch could kill Shivam oh, wow. if he had one card in his deck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Parametra. Remember, I could always put Pop back. True. Pop I mean, that clock. clock has 11 counters on it? Yeah, uh, it does. You're right. So on your next turn, it'll happen? Oh, no. I'm going to lose my whole 62 cards. My turn. What happened? Well, that's okay. I won't deck myself at least. <laughs> yeah. Leonore, Autumn Sovereign. Casting a bunch of creatures. Uh, Vizier. I'm so sorry, everybody. You're sorry. My welcome. turn's the one that took an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Archivist of Ogma. I already know it. Uh, I'll move to my combat step. I'll draw a card. I definitely have three or more creatures with different powers. Uh, Shivam has quite a few creatures on his board. Yes. Just a few. Just. And the capacity to make more. Yeah. <laughs> well, sh- <laughs> <laughs> That's I guess. Okay, so uh, things are going to happen. Untap. The neck block like, hey. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to let that Midnight Clock happen in just a second. First, we're going to pay one, scroll rack for four, Midnight Clock is going to pop, and I'm going to shuffle my hand, my library, my graveyard, all into the deck and draw seven new cards. Upkeep happens, many of Dominaria. Turns out I have no lands in my yard. Fancy that. What can I do with all of this track? I'm just going to play a Shivam Reef. It's your Reef. <laughs> my Reef. And I'm going to... Scry with my crystal ball, put them on the bottom, build the top. That's not a fun card, so let's try to top. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm going to shuffle my library with Suteng. I'm going to play one blue to play a Mystic Speculation. Scry three, and I'll buy back. Scry three. Uh, I'm going to play Consider off of a blue land, and I'm going to bottom it and then flip over until something happens. Oh, I get a Serum Visions. Boo. Cast it twice. Because Swarm Intelligence. 1-1 one, one Shark. From the Consider. Play Reliquary Tower. I'm just going to swing for a lot right now. Yep. Oh, and I draw two cards because of casting copying. Let's just play some Swingy Times. So I've got 10 Drakes here. Two Red Dragons. A Silver Dragon, which is an 8-8. Eight, eight, a 6-6 six, six, this guy and then a bunch of other big guys. I'm going to start by who's got flying blockers? Uh, I do. One. And Joey, you're at 37, 38. It probably and doesn't matter, but I think every spell you cast this turn, you had to pay two for regardless, even though you have omniscience. Yeah. Oh. I don't. Okay. I cast anything. literally one spell. So here, here's four mana. And but that's I, fair you and reasonable. have seven in hand, hey, Shiva? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Oh, and I cast the first instant of sorcery. But because I've got nothing in my graveyard, Arcane Bombardment doesn't trigger. Attacky times. I'm going to attack Joey with 48 in the air. Which yes. is <laughs> the number I just said. Kind of a And lot. then I'm going to attack Ailey in the air for 8 with um, Ancient Silver. Let's see here. All those creatures on the board make it very hard for me to attack her. How big is your board, uh, Ailey? I have only got a 2-2, two, two, a 3-3, three, three, and a 1-1. One, one. Okay. I'm going to attack you with a 5-5, five, five, a 6-6, six, six, two, four, and Jinga Taxes, so another 5-5. Five, five. I will put my Elephant and the Eidolon in front of Jin to hopefully kill it. And I'll take the rest, however much that is. Yeah, so that's 5, 
Six is 11 and two is 13. Okay. And then against Olivia, I guess I'm just going to swing with Italia. Might as well. It's here. That's an attack trigger so, off the top of our library, right? Yeah. It is. So this would happen yeah. before any of us you die. Sure? Yes, yeah. this happened before anyone dies. So exile the top card of each player's library, then I can cast any number of non land cards, exile this way. So I'm not going to cast any of them. That's fine. So only Atali is coming at me? And uh, two 4 4 elementals. 14 total? No, 10, 14, 18. Oh, okay. Before I go, I would just like to lament that I have this arachnogenesis I can't play for like three different reasons with what's going on on board, but it would have been a lot of fun to nom nom on the drakes. I'll have Archivist block the six, Lenore and, uh, oh wait, I've got Kara too. I'll have Kara block the six, apologies. For the four fours, Lenore's a one five and Glunch is a zero five. I'll block both the fours with the five toughness. That is what I've got. I was able to kill at least one person. Pass. Okay, okay. I'll untap. This will go to chapter three. I'm going to bring back Island of Blossoms from my bin. And we still get to draw three cards, huh? Yep. How many blockers do you have, Shimon? Oh, goodness gracious. I have one, two, and three. What color are they? Blue and blue red. Oh, and I have to hang on. Let me roll some d20s, actually. Because I yeah. attacked with two oh, yeah, copper yeah, dragons. Yeah. So I get, oh my god. That says 18 treasures, and then roll a second time for another 18. So that's 18 and 18, 36 treasures. And then I'm going to roll for the blue one. Draw 20 cards. Uh, Olivia, you get like infinite mana from your smothering tithe. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So I have now uh, 36. Oh, I'm going to draw 20 cards. God, you were lucky that Niv Visit is in a hole. Technically, all of these are face up. So if you want to see them, let me know. Pile. Blatant Thievery is on the top of my deck. Ailey, with that ginger taxi is gone, I can help someone. Okay, I have drawn. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. I have infinite mana right now. I can just play a bunch to make a bunch of sharks. I'm going to get probe myself, make two 1 1 sharks. I'm going to play a mind's dilation. I'm going to play a leer. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, reliquary tower, phase three to ichthyomorphosis, your Nira. She's now a fish. Ichthyomorphosis, hang yes. on one moment there. I'm going to make two six six sharks with a sublime epiphany. <laughs> um, countering that spell. Okay. And I don't then. I think you can counter that spell. Why can't I? Well, you have a leer in play. Spells can't oh, yeah. be countered. Ah. I goozled myself. Okay, well, then I'm going to. <laughs> hang, on, hang on, I can do this still. Check this out. I can go a sublime epiphany. Uh, and then I'm going to return Lyra to my hand. Then I'm going to create a copy of my 8-8 dragon. Then okay. I'm going to draw a card. And then with my second copy, mm -hmm. I'm going to counter target spell, return your planeswalker to your hand, draw another card. And because I cast a spell, the first spell of the turn, I exile a instant or sorcery at random from my yard. So it's one of these three. Joey, A, B, or C. See, I get to cast the Serum Visions for free. Copy that, basically. So I can draw a card, scry two, draw a card off of the Archmage Emeritus trigger, and then continue your turn. Okay. Oh, and Niv-Mizzet yeah. comes back. No, it's Oblivion oh. Ring that it's still under. Oh, is it Oblivion Ring that has to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, then the second bounce, I'm going to bounce the Oblivion Ring. Okay, then Niv-Mizzet comes back. Now are we dead? So does Soul Warden. And then I can do uh, four points of damage to you. Sure. Uh, Ailey, and then Anyone? instant speed. Let's see, can I kill you? No, these are all sorcery speed. Okay, continue. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Day three, force of test and champion. Seeing as you bounced my O ring, I will recast it and exile your omniscience. That's fair. I will put a counter on here, draw a card, draw a card. The tagline for this show better be Shivan Blew It. <laughs> <laughs> I get two more drakes. Play another land. Ottawara, that's just gonna be my second land. One, two, six. I cost or two mana. Sterling Grove. Other enchantments you control have shroud. Yay. Uh, I can sack it to go find an enchantment and reveal it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk about this Sterling Grove for a second. I'm leaving yeah. it alone, Ailey. Go for it. We're going to pay 5-6, and I'm going to play Torrential Gear Hulk, flashing back Sublime Epiphany. 
countering uh, that spell. Yeah. Bouncing your O-ring to bring Omniscience yeah. back, creating another 8-8, eight, eight, and then drawing <laughs> another card to do a damage to you, Ailey. And this gets exiled. Oh, I get another trigger of that. So I get two more 6-6, six, six, and then I'm going to draw another card, and I'm just going to skip all the rest of the crap on there. <laughs> okay. Well, as my last... I don't know. Oh, and take another damage. Okay. I will pay three... I'm going to pro and grip your omniscience. Let me see. Do I have a counter for that one? It's got split second, buddy, so I don't no, think so. No, I don't. It's cross and grip. I love cross and grip. <laughs> it's okay. okay. I, I omniscient doffed. I can't complain. I should yeah, put lightning bolts I, in this deck, I though. cannot do anything. I, at this point, I'm just going to pick up my cards because I have no answers now. So, Olivia, good yeah, luck. I... Okay, thanks. <laughs> Money, friends, or secrets. I forgot the glunch at the end of the turn last time, too. I'll take another treasure. Oh, God. Your audience, you're going to see that I've made a whole lot of misplays this game. I apologize <laughs> for all of them. I've never played a deck like this before. I don't know if you noticed that or not. But there's a whole lot of things here that trigger from a whole lot of things that I, a green-white player, have never done before. So please, there when you're responding so in the comments... There have so many triggers on my board that probably wouldn't have been taken anyway, but still. <laughs> when you're in the comments deriding me for all of my absolutely awful play of red-blue control... <laughs> I agree. We're going to start off with Beast Within Ignit Mizzet. Okay, in response, I'm going to play Otherworldly Gaze. Instead of being cast, go to the bottom of my library, and I will flip over for Nira Trigger to get a Mystic Confluence. Oh no, it doesn't matter because you've got that stupid uh, got a lot of Nix mana. Bloom. Yep. Yeah, the Nix Bloom, so it doesn't matter. So you're going to first uh, do what to my Niv Mizzet? Beast it. Okay. In you response draw a card to the beast ding as well, hey, with Niv. Yes. So I draw a card. I do a damage to Olivia. In response, I'm going to play uh, Essence Flux. Exile target creature you control and return to the battlefield. That's the first spell I cast this turn, so I get to Arcane Bombardment. Uh, exile a instant or sorcery spell. Joey, pick one to three. Three. Get a Git Probe. And then I cast every spell that's been exiled with Arcane Bombardment. So I'm going to cast Git Probe at myself, draw a card. And then draw another card because I'm going to do it twice. And then I'm going to cast Serum Visions. Draw two cards. Get two more 1-1s. One and then scry two. Go ahead. I'm going to play Blessed Sanctuary. What does that do? Wait. Prevents isn't non-combat Nivmizzet back damage. out? So aren't there like a bunch of things going off here? Oh yeah, I just drew uh, three, four cards. So Olivia, I'm going to hit you for four. So and Blessed then how Sanctuary. many creatures did you have enter? Two drakes enter. And then I had two 1-1s. Uh, one so that's so four total. I'm actually total. net zero because of Soul Warden. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Nice. That's Soul Warden's tongue. I'm going to crack a blue uh, treasure and rapidly hybridize that Soul Warden. And I get two more of these. Oh, and I can copy the rapid hybridization. So I'm going to hit your Nyx Bloom Ancient. You're not, because it's going to be heroic intervention. Nice. Fair, fair. Another card draw of Niv, another ping. Uh, oh, all non cop and damage is prevented. Okay. Just ding then me. I'm, 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 I'm dead me already. All like, I, I, I can't keep up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll play Othelm, Sigarden, Outcast, Vizier. I'll just play Neil's Discipline Enforcer from the library. Play Halo Fountain. Oh, is she just win? How many spells did you play? How many spells have I played? Yeah. Many. Let's I'll go with five. Olivia, do you have 15 creatures? I'm going to try. I have to untap them, though. Real. That would be the coolest thing in the world. It's either 11 or 12 that don't currently have summoning sickness. Yeah. Can you read the last thing on Halo Fountain for me? Untap 15 tapped creatures, I win the game. Oof. Yep. Pass through attacks. Draw a card with Lynor on attacks, right? Oh, yeah. Huh? Thank you. Verge Rangers. I think I've got to pass. Untap. Upkeep. Uh, I've got no upkeep triggers that I care about. Draw. Your stuff is no longer hexproof, but that blessed thing prevents all non-combat damage to him. Do you have any flyers? Yes. How many flyers? Just one. I'm going to swing. Two, two flyers. Okay. I'm going to swing at you with 16 two twos, four eight eights, three six sixes. Okay. I will play comeuppance. Good. Hot damn. That's funny. That's really funny. Comeuppance is the one where it's like, I take all the damage that I did to you. 
the creatures uh, do. If you did any direct damage, anything that's not a creature damage hits you in the face, creatures deal damage equal to the, the their power to themselves. Okay. How much mana do you have untapped? Like infinite, right? 32 times 3. Let me... Six minimum. I actually have four unicorns I forgot to put on. Yeah, and I did not attack you with all those. Thank God. Let's see if I can get out of this. Uh, how can I counter that spell? Um... <laughs> She's got, like, infinite mana, so I can't mana drain it type of thing. I can pay the shit out of it, no big deal. You can pay all the threes. Okay, so basically all that does is just kill all my creatures I yes. attacked you with. That happens. Okay. Since I mainly just attacked you with copies, I feel safer than I did ten seconds ago. Also, you had to draw from a glunch, but I didn't put my counters on either, so we're just kind of in the... Everybody, we're... we know it's almost three hours we've been playing this game. We're missing triggers. It's fine. We know. You don't oh, it's fine. Stuff. Okay, so I'm going to... Not being able to hit you with indirect damage really kind of blows. Because I could kill you, but I can't. Try anyway. I can end I'm, the game if you do. I'm going to play a spell. I'm going to try to Nira and just see what happens. Island. Ponder. Great. Got to ponder. Cast a ponder. Let's see. Look at the top three. Put them back. Draw. Look at the top three. Put them back. Draw. Did that thing protect all of your creatures, too? Yes. That's a good card. I guess I can't beat you this turn, so pass. Well, in that uh, case... What do you want? Treasure? Card? Treasure. That inability to just kill you with niv Mizza triggers really <laughs> frustrates. Get him, Olivia. It, I'm going to do my best here. Halo I'm sorry, fountain, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Halo fountain, oh know, my right? god. Come on, fountain me. I have enough creatures to swing untap with the fountain. Do I have a way to stop that is a question. <laughs> no, last turn, if I had blatant thievery, I could have stolen one of your creatures. But instead, I got Halo Fountain out of the game. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. What a way to win. Now, see, Shivam, if only you had a haste giver in your deck, we would have all been dead very many, you know, many I, turns I, ago. I guess we live and learn. This is the first time I've ever played this deck. This is sweet. Like, wow. And also, I don't know if I'd ever play this again. There were like 800 triggers, and I'm sure the comments will be able to tell me the 38 ways I had to win that were on the table. But I don't care. Somebody get Shiva a bane fire, please. Just kill there us. There were so many things happening. Like, it was, I just kept losing track of what was on, what was happening. Oh Did my I God. Have priority? What is priority? Like, what I is priority? <laughs> I had to check out in that game. I was just like, I know my deck can't handle whatever you're doing. My kid is crying and <laughs> hungry, so I'm going to go feed whatever him. Whatever I have, you have an answer. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I love the deck, Shivam, that you built. I do. But you need some firepower in there, please. The first time he popped up, I was like, okay, cool. We're dead. Nope. Nope. We didn't die. We and didn't you know what? Maybe we were, but we all lost track of what was going on. <laughs> It's so much uh, harder on webcam, y'all. I swear. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. We can figure like... it out when you're in person and you get to sit across and like hold the cards <laughs> and read everything and like see what's being placed down in a specific order. It's much easier to keep track of. And when it's a quarter of a computer screen, you're like, I hope I heard I most know. of it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm mentally checked out. So uh, congratulations. Or I'm sorry that happened. It's basically. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I ain't reading all Just that. of that game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nevertheless, though, we absolutely love Joey and Shivam. So thank you both for coming to play with us. Be sure to go and check out all their stuff. And as always, sure. my friends, you know the spiel. Got to click the things to make the dings. Check out our sponsors. Join our Patreon. Just keep watching and being awesome with that like and subscribe and notification. I don't know. There's so many things to click. I'm, I've am i checked out of that, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but if you can help us out in any way you can, even just watching is a great way to support us and help us continue making Commander content just for you. On that note, my friends, we'll see you next week for more Elder Dragon hijinks.